I'm Jaden Fields. I'm Jada Kearney. And I'm Riley Orcutt. Welcome, Welcome to Off Topic. Okay, so this weekend, <laughs> obviously, one of the biggest tournaments, probably the biggest tournament that you could play in preseason. What were your guys' thoughts going through the games? It was so much fun. So fun. Honestly, if I, are we going to break down each um, game? Oh, we can. Yeah, yeah we definitely yeah. could because, I mean, from the jump, Wisconsin, crazy game. Yeah, oh, my gosh, crazy. that was a crazy game. Very competitive, but a yeah. lot of fun. A lot of fun. We went to extras. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. How many innings? Ten innings. Ten innings. Ten innings. Ten innings. Ten innings. Dallas. Dallas walks it off, base Dallas up the middle. Off. What was the final score? Seven to six? Seven was it six to five? It was it's six one of those. Five or one of those. Yeah, one of those. Yes. One by one. <laughs> yeah. One by one, just kept going back and forth. It was a dogfight, but all I knew is that we were not losing that game. No. Yeah, there was definitely no thought that we were going to lose. Yeah. We had a lot of fight. It was just like, yeah. when are they going to let us win, basically, honestly? No, yeah. literally. So, yeah. that was fun. That was first day. Then second day, we had Oklahoma State, mm -hmm. which I know we were all looking forward to. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was a good one, too. That was a good one. Yeah. Great team. Last time we played them, they took, they beat us the first game that we played in the World Series. Yeah. Yeah. So another game that we're, like, super hyped up for. They're an amazing team. And that game was back and forth, too. They took yeah. the lead first, and then we wound up snatching it back. Lindy Ray, pinch hit, home run. Yeah. Three run, homer, so Lindy good. Ray to tie it. Mm -hmm. Pinch hit, too. That's, that's hard to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think playing these tough games now and, like, having that kind of back and forth and – uh, you know, coming out of that with the dub is definitely something that's going to build a foundation for like later on in the games. Like, yes, it is fun to just kill teams and run rule and just get the win easy, no problem. But I think that this is almost like building our endurance for right. when we get later yeah, in the definitely. season and we have like those those tough games back yes. and forth. So it's definitely it's like fun. building our like fight and building our like courage, I guess, to like come back from behind and like. Yeah beat good teams and like be competitive with like the best of the best. Yeah, know? definitely. Cause I mean, the easiest thing is as soon as Oklahoma state takes the lead, I mean, they're a top 10 team. Mm -hmm. We could have easily said, well, game's over. They scored four runs. We're probably mm -hmm. not going to score that many runs or even yeah. Wisconsin. Well, they scored first in extra innings. Game's probably over, like mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah, so. that resilience is everything. And yes. it's definitely going to pay off in the long run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Next was UCLA, yeah. mm -hmm. another big game, great team. Yeah. What are y'all thoughts? Uh, it's just fun, competitive softball, I think. Yeah. And, you know, yes. I think what makes our team so good, which people don't really talk about a lot, but having funny teammates <laughs> is, like, so key to being on a good team. And that's what I'm realizing yeah. this year. Like, we have so much fun in the dugout, cheering, laughing, dancing, and just – you know, remembering that this game is supposed to be fun. And so that's, I think, was my biggest takeaway from the weekend is how fun the dugout was. Yeah, and 100%. Just having fun with the game. And you know, even though we do this thing where we bark at oh, I was just the other say team, that. Um, if they're like close to our dugout or if there's like a foul ball. And so we're doing our <laughs> little bark. You know, how, you know how the Georgia Bulldogs be. Um, and, you know, the other team was kind of laughing with it. And like, that was really cool too. Yeah. So they yeah. understand that, oh, it's just a game too. It's just so. fun. Like, yeah. That was my thing when we, when we were playing UCLA and like when we were barking at them, seeing them just like laughing. Well, I was dying laughing in the outfield because I saw every time someone flew out, they're jogging past our dugout and oh. everyone's barking at yeah. them. I would have been so pissed. Yeah. And some teams are, some teams some are, but teams it was are. nice to kind of have that banter and just, you right. know, know yeah. that they understood that it was just for all fun. But yeah. there's no harm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and then. Agree. Finishing the weekend off with FSU. Mm -hmm. That was a fun game. We came out strong and I mean so did they they hit the ball very well it was yeah. a dog fight I felt like mm -hmm. it was pretty pretty good game but I think it was fun because we really wanted that like redemption from like yeah. last year in supers and so we all kind of had that like little extra fire yeah and we were all super excited and pumped up about that one but mm -hmm. yeah especially to be 9 a.m it was giving travel oh, ball yeah. vibes having to wake up at six in the morning and yeah. our game before that was kind of like we finished kind of late it's yeah. not like we got to get in bed by eight o'clock mm -hmm. so we were tired too tired but came out ready to play so mm -hmm. that was fun yeah. a lot of fun a lot of fun 20 runs yeah 20 runs. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 but they did get mm -hmm. no, they did. yeah they did amazing yeah but I think yeah. overall, they're like, it was just a great week. Like, what a great way to just kind of start our, not start, because we did play the weekend before, but just go out there and take care of business. Was, yeah, definitely, because I think the big thing about playing games like these and games that we're about to play in the future, 
really shows you what your team can be made of. I mean, obviously, we all know, like, we were far from our best. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, having fun in the process of competing and picking each other up, like, I know in the beginning of the weekend, I was having a hard time with my performance, but my teammates made it so easy for me to pour into them and enjoy their success and enjoy our wins. So. Yeah, and I feel like that's what it's about. It's really about just competing and having that togetherness with your team, especially at the it beginning. It makes it of the, so much more fun. Yeah, so especially much. at the beginning of the season. I feel like the outcomes and stuff will kind of come mm -hmm. um, as you stay committed to that process and you really <laughs> just trust that everything will fall into place like it's supposed to. Definitely, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so our last game that we were supposed to play was... Minnesota. Minnesota, but it got rained out, canceled due to rain. So, I think that would have been a fun one to really finish off the weekend. But yeah. Yeah. it is what it is, I guess. Off yeah. to our tournament this weekend at home. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. exciting. Virginia yeah. Tech, who we played in regionals last year, mm -hmm. and then we have Radford and Dartmouth too. Yeah. So what a bunch of great teams. Thoughts about this upcoming weekend? I mean. I know I'm excited. We know from regionals last year, Virginia Tech is a great team. They have great pitching, great mm -hmm. coaching all around. I mean, we know, again, it's going to be a fight, a dog fight. I mean, these teams, we can't take them lightly at all. So I'm excited. Yeah, and I think, too, when you're top dog, which we are right now, you know, a teams are going to be coming for you. They're going to play their best game against, you know, that team that is supposedly really good. So yeah. it's important for us to be on our A game and continue to have that competing mindset no matter what the whole weekend. But I'm excited, yeah, to kind of have that rematch from Definitely. last year. And, and when you think about like with us being ranked so high right now, not letting that get to us, get to our head right. and thinking, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. we're top five right now. We're going to be every team that we play because that's just not going to happen. Exactly. Anyone can take any game. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. that's going to be the main key is like continuing to compete and not letting like the rankings have an effect and just going out there doing our thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's important you don't take yeah. anyone for granted and you know you go out there and do everything that you can to win no matter what every time yeah. because you know it is a privilege to win so it's yeah. important to know that. But. It's a lot of fun to win so making sure we keep doing <laughs> yeah. what we're doing so that it keeps happening. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. And next week we have Clemson. Clemson right. midweek on a Wednesday. Gonna That's going to be a oh, huge game. That's fun every year, though. Every yeah, year. Yeah, they're a great team. We know it's going to be back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Great pitching, great offense. Same with us. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. I'm yeah. excited. Last time we played them, it was super fun. We, I remember we had, like, Spike Squad here and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Well, that was the last time we played them at home. We played them yeah. away last year, last but the year before that we played them here. And then Savannah Sykes used to play here, walked it off. And so I'm expecting, you it's know, that same atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. Probably yeah, going to have a big crowd. We had a big crowd during the first mid week we played against them. So that's going to be great. Yeah. yeah. Please come out to the game. <laughs> yeah. Here yeah. in Athens, you know, you have to do Wednesday at, what, 530? <laughs> yeah. Come on down to Jack Turner. <laughs> it's free, I promise, fun. and it's free. Yeah, so. it's free admission. Yeah. But I'm excited for the rest of the season and me too. Seeing what happens. Me, Me too. too. Because we have, we have our California trip coming up too. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, how are you? Another teams. great team. How are you feeling about going back home to your home state? I'm excited. I'm like sad that my dad's going to visit my brother that weekend, so he's not going to oh, be there. Oh, really? Yeah, it's dad's weekend at. Brad, Wisconsin. you're such an inconvenience. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Love you, Brad. <laughs> Love you, Brad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he won't be there, but my mom will be there, and okay. hopefully some other people will drive down, yeah. cause, or fly. I think my mom's flying, because it's like a six hour drive. Have yeah. you ever been to Stanford before? Yeah, when I was younger, I used to go up there a lot, because my uncle went there back in the day, but um, also like just to, for like softball camps and stuff, like I used to go over there all the time. But um, yeah, it's so pretty. Their field is nice. It's, it's exciting. And, they're, and they have a big fence that's like pretty far too, so it's like hard to hit home that's runs. That's what I but heard. Not it's like the, the field's kind of big. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to hit home runs, but not impossible. Not it's impossible. Can not do impossible it. with this team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. You hit four home runs this past weekend. Who knows? Yeah, was there, wait, was it four this weekend? I hit two this oh, past weekend. Oh, two the first Sorry. weekend. But yeah. two against Florida State. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that second ball that Jada hit. 
I'm she's so saying. humble. She's such a She's humble not going to talk about herself, so like, let us talk about <laughs> yeah, let us, let us <laughs> talk about her. Don't music. worry, we got you. <laughs> because that second ball that you hit. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a ball hit that far before. <laughs> yeah. I, it went, oh, there were like power lines in the outfield. Went over the power lines. The cameras No, showed, not in the outfield, behind the outfield. Yeah, yeah. The cameras zoomed in on this lady going to pick up another home run ball like that was like in a ditch in the back of the field. Jada's ball then landed over this big ditch, like in the <laughs> way distance. Like I couldn't even tell you, like looking at it from the dugout, I was like, where did that thing go? I could not see it. It was massive home run. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> but I mean, we did hit a lot of home runs this weekend. Yeah. We've hit a lot of home runs. Um, so far in general, Sydney Chambly hit two more she's this had, weekend. She has four. Lindy so Kuma hit two. has three. Lindy has two. Dang, Ellie get has one. Game up. No, girl. <laughs> no, you're you're <laughs> you you're weekend, fine. Though, Thank like, you. You were moving. Girl, you did me. you see the way you played against Oklahoma State? I mean, you went off. Thank you. What so. were you like three for three? Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool yeah. So that's important too. Like not just the home runs. Like. Yeah. Getting them runs in, girl. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Coming up big when it matters. Yeah, for sure. That's yeah. what you do. But no. <laughs> I was definitely, definitely proud of the performance. It's just been a lot of fun. Like, it's been yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. There's been a little drama, though. And I want to address that a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so in our last game that we played, we were up maybe 20 to 8. Not maybe. We were up 20 to 8. And there was a post put out on these big sports media platforms, and it was kind of missing a little bit of context, so for educational purpose, I just want to explain kind of what happened. So for those that don't know, in softball, you cannot leave the base until the pitcher releases the ball, like, in her pitching motion. Mm -hmm. Now, in baseball, it's a little bit different. You can get off the base, you can lead off, and that's sometimes where you'll see, like, picks and stuff happening. But in softball, you can't do that. So let's set the scene. We're playing our last game of the weekend. It's 20 to eight, you know, and we're in the top of the fifth inning. And my coach tells me, okay, you're gonna get off the base intentionally to get out. Cool, I understand what he's doing. Um, trying to end the inning quickly because the game had been running two and a half to three hours. We'd had a rain delay already that game and there was weather or rain in the forecast to continue to come in. So we wanted to speed up the game a little bit. Uh, a little bit. So he told me, get off the base. He told the umpire that was at third, hey, she's going to step off the base early. And so, cool, we were good to go, you know? Like, nothing wrong with that. It's something that is commonly seen in softball when there is a big deficit in the game. And so that's what we we're going to do. But the only person he forgot to communicate with <laughs> on that was the batter. And so, unfortunately, she hit a home run while I stepped off the base, and it didn't count, which sucked. But yeah, that was the rundown on it. Still it, so. Counts so. Yeah, still it still counts in our books. It still counts in our books. And she got that off her shoulders. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it was just like, what are the odds that that yeah. happens, you know? It's like, yeah. what are the chances? It's like yeah. a freak thing. Like, what are the odds that she <laughs> swings at that pitch? That pitch. Hits her first her career first home run. Home like, like, that pitch. Uh -huh. And I'm stepping off the base yeah. to get That was just fate. It just, was bound to yeah, happen. It's like an unfortunate uh -huh. situation. Yeah. So it was just a little bit of miscommunication, but, you know... At the end of the day, you know, I would, wouldn't want that to happen to my teammate on purpose, but that's what our coach asked us to do. And then there was a runner on second um, after I got out, and she did the same thing the following pitch. So, yeah, they left out a little bit of context there, which I don't appreciate for being a sports media platform. But, yeah, just here to clear that up for anyone who isn't familiar with softball strategies or just the rules. But hopefully, you know, there's not as much drama <laughs> For the rest of the season, and if there is, there's a little bit of context provided for people watching. Because I was like, people were coming for me on the internet, man. But you know. And even if she did make that mistake, people are human. Yeah. So yeah, let's yeah. all be nice to everyone. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. No, seriously. Yeah. But you know, never nothing better than an educational moment for those that <laughs> aren't aware of what's going on. But I think for the most part, like we knew, the other team knew, and yeah. people who watch softball regularly regularly could have picked that up. So. Yeah, yeah, for so. sure. So. All is yeah. good now, but yeah. Just, just a freak situation. Yeah, just unfortunate, like, yeah, yeah timing of everything. Yeah, for it sure. Cool. But glad we got that cleared. Mm -hmm.